do though let's hit that record and say hello youtube we are continuing stream the barbarian we need the level two rogue uh did we we might i don't think did we level up again we might have got a second level at some point i don't remember for sure though but there's a possibility that happened uh we've been doing some stuff for the fighters guild trying to level up a little bit just become better well fighters it doesn't say it would be stealing to open these chests so i think i am gonna go ahead and grab tower key here uh how do we magic again there we go let's go do i want you to no it's fine love you don't need to come up just for that just if you happen to come up anyways then sure but yeah, no, no worries about, like, coming up just for that. Oh, we can only use tower key once a day. Oh, I didn't know that. We'll see. What about wild open? Cost, chance. Cost is 15. Chance of success, I guess, is 11. So 10%, maybe? Because I'm assuming beggars knows. Yeah, that's 100% chance. Yeah, oh. You failed casting the spell. I'm assuming the only way to get better at it is to keep trying. Well, we don't have enough magic to try again, so... <laughs> we suck at the magic, but whatever. We can we can try to unlock it later, or some other time or something. Uh, in the meantime, though, let's go ahead and put Beggar's Nose. Oh, we can't use that either. Or our Demon Tonto. Oh, no. That's actually kind of sucks. Not going to lie. Well, oh, well. We still have our steel short sword, though. That's not bad. That's weird. Excuse me? <laughs> what are we getting hit on here or snagged on? There must be some like weird geometry right here or something. I don't know if that's one of the, the many improvement better? patches or if that's just the game itself, but I am has fat. <laughs> And Tabalus, drill master for the Bomora Fighters Guild. I offer training to the public and a considerable discount to members of the Fighters Guild. Uh, services are cheap and get cheaper as you advance in rank, but since destroying Hardheart, the new guild master deposed my old friend, Perseus Mercius. That's a wonderful name. Perseus Mercius. I like that one, dude. That's a good one. Uh, things have gone a bit sour. My advice is to watch yourself with Hardheart and his cronies. They got more ambition than sense. Go see Perseus Mercius Isness in Old Rune and listen to what he tells you. Uh, associate, what can be said? We are the few, the proud, the underpaid. Hardy, har, har, har. Your duties are to your lord and brethren. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. How much does it cost to train? Block. Block skills allows one to use shields to block any melee attack. Okay. Athletic skill trains and conditions one for running and swimming. Skilled athletes move short and long distances. 230? Uh, okay, I guess it just happened. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Hello, what do you do? If you have any questions, we have an answer or try anyways. And if you just want a little advice, that's fine too. Uh, sure, we'll take a little bit of advice. Nobody's going to coddle you in the Fighters Guild. In the Imperial Cult, they give you stuff that old ladies could do in their sleep. But here, you get in line for work, and if something comes to you that is out of your depth, you're supposed to be smart enough to back off and come at it again later when you have enough equipment and chops. Fair enough. Mm, order South Wall. South Wall is a working class corner club in Balmora, cast of Odai River, east of Odai River, on the south end of Labor Street, owned by Bacola Clausius. Yep. Uh, what do you train? You also train block and spear, or and athletics, but you also do spears. Well, we don't really use spears. Why is athletics blocked out? Oh, because we don't have enough gold. We broke, boys. That makes sense. Now, interestingly, those crates are considered stealing. This door is also trapped, and uh, it's marked red, so I'm assuming not allowed to go in it. That would make sense to me. What was our goal here? 
or House Lalu Town, and loyal citizens of the Empire. Do you know any little secrets? Somebody said Larius Varro over at Fort Moonmoth is looking for you. Said he wanted to talk to you. Don't know what about. Larius Varro in Fort Moonmoth. I guess we should probably go that way. See, the Legion gives out good armor Talk to their best free. recruits. What do you want? So Fort Moonmoth, is that on our map by any chance? World map. Hathla Od, Odai Plateau. There's the Moonmoth Legion Fort. Okay, so that must be the place. Oh. Okay, so if we just head south out of town, it's just on the other side of the river? Is what it's looking like? Sure. Uh, let's go see what they want, if anything. Does this stuff respawn? I think that was... No, that wasn't bread. That was a plate. I mean, bread and plate, basically the same thing, right? Do we have a bunch of junk on us we need to get rid of or anything? Not that bad. We have some we could probably get rid of, but it's not like an insane amount. I do, however, see more stuff we never grabbed over here. Never looted. Steal from the urns? I'm sure nobody will mind, right? It's a little weird. I mean, I'm sure these urns are just for storage, not for, like, ashes of the dead. But I just imagine reaching our hand in the urn. It's just full of ashes, but we just, you know, dig around with our hand in there. And then we come across a couple chunks of meat. And we just, we just pull it out like, mm, yummy, dude. Looks like Scuttle. We'll eat that later. Uh, my guy. I'm not sure that is what you think it is, but you know what? You do you. The God, why approaches. do you walk like that? The prey approaches? Bruh. Hello, friend. I'm Hool. Welcome to Bamora. If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer it. Uh, what can you tell me about the Fighters Guild? What do what do people think of the Fighters Guild around here? What's the Oi River? Looking up towards the temple, the Fighters Guild is halfway up on your right. They're always looking for people. If you're thinking of joining up, ask for... Uh, well, okay, you know. Kind of already a member, actually. I was more interested in just your opinions on them. But I guess that's fine, too. I hope this fort has a shop, because I have a looting problem, and all this stuff is free. It's really hard to not take. It's good snacking. I mean, you know to each their own, I guess. <laughs> it's not the kind of snack and I think I would want to do personally, but if that's what you're into, that's what you're into, right? Is that the fort over there? Definitely something over there. Let's go that way. Surprised there's not, like, a marker somewhere telling us which way is which along the road. I mean, I'm sure there will be, like, at the next fork. But I'm hoping that's just it right there. It looks like a pretty good choice for us. It's kind of fortish looking, right? In some ways. Caldera, Balmora, Pelagiad. Sure, I'm butchering all of this. Uh, hello, are you a fort? A fort Moonmoth by any chance? I am looking for a fort Moonmoth, Mr. With His Pants Full of Poo. Think it'll rain? I, I don't know. What's your background, guy? You're an Imperial Guard. Very cool. Um... They all have their own guards, fines, and compensation. Or drag you off to prison if you can't pay. Imperial guard... Nothing. You got nothing. Thought since it was highlighted, maybe they'd actually have something interesting to say. But I'm nope. Listening. Who are we looking for again? Okay, so it's stealing while we're in the fort to go in the crates. So don't go in the crates. Legion Fort Interior. Hello, were you the one looking for me? What's your story? Oh, you're Hardheart. We've heard of you. Um... Advancement? Do you want to join the Imperial Legion? No. Not really. Well, what are the rules? Hold the law of the Empire. Praise the glory of the Emperor. Emperor, Follow the orders of your superiors. Never assault a member of the Legion or steal from another member. How do we feel about the Imperial Legion in this game? 
I don't know, to be honest. Do you buy random junk by any chance? Like, uh, all of this chokeweed and comberry and all of the random stuff I've collected that I don't know how to use yet. 11 eggs. <laughs> I know marshmallow is part of the healing thing, which actually would be pretty handy. Uh, but I don't know how it works, so... Uh, we'll keep a couple eggs around. Restore fatigue. We'll keep the potions. I guess. Sell the ash yams. The willow anther. The trauma root. Trying to get that trauma. Okay, the bargain stuff ended up being trash. There's no need to buy that. I'm thinking the cheap restore health is probably going to be basically useless too, but we'll keep it around at least for now. Any other miscellaneous crap to get rid of? It does not appear to be. Torches are limited use. We'll keep a hold of those. Do you have anything I want? Pewter candlestick. That candle is blue. I mean, that's fine. You can have candles that are different colors. It's just weird. What are the Bait bucket do. Throwing stars? That's cool. You don't see throwing stars in, like, Skyrim. Uh, the annotated on what? On, on, on you at. I guess I'll buy the fishing bait. It'd be nice to have some of that around. I kind of want to get the fishing or the bait bucket, too, but I don't really know what it does. Nordic bearskin cuirass. Cur cuirass. Armor rating 5, weight 9. What is ours? Armor rating 10, 10, 10, weight 6. I think we'll just keep with what we got. And you are Erla? I don't think you're who I'm looking for either. Uh, well, I'm okay. listening, so go ahead. You got some, some interesting stuff on the table there. I'm not going to steal it, though. We're not, being, we're not playing thieves. Hello, are you the person I'm looking yes. for? Naspis Epinia, I don't think so. Welcome, can I tell you about the Imperial Cult? We invite you to become a lay member. What's a lay member? We accept all citizens of good character and earnest faith. We ask only a one-time pledge of 50 drakes to aid us in our good works. To become a lay member of the Imperial Cult, speak with Yigfa at Fort Pelagia. Zaloria Serulius at Fort Buckmouth. Uh, or Samudas Vunus at Fort Moonmoth, Russia Conscien in the Grand Council Chambers at Ebonheart, or Laladia Varian in the Imperial Chapels at Ebonheart. I'm surprised you can't just let me join. You are also a good trader, huh? A lot of people selling their wares around here. But apparently we already got some pretty good stuff because everything sucks in comparison. We on your way. You're hard heart. We never talked to you. Who are you? Welcome, friend. Another Ooh, you're also a spellcraft though. Uh we're like broke, so I don't think we're gonna be buying any spellcraft, but good to know there's more around here. Uh, da -da -da. Who are we looking for? Journal. These are the rules. There's a rumor that Legion champion Larius Varro. I don't suppose Alarius would be in the prison towers, would he? I wouldn't think so, but I'm not going to pretend to know much either. Wow. These towers go tall. Oh. It's just... It doesn't actually go anywhere? Weird. God, I can't. Bro, this is actually a problem. Uh. So this is where we die. <laughs> okay, it's probably because I don't have any stamina. Let's just let's just give it a minute for some of our stamina to regen. I'm assuming I just can't jump all that high because we're like tuckered out. You know, we're we're very tired. And for that reason, we can't jump high, hopefully, because otherwise we are just stuck here forever. Okay. Come on. Oh, I guess we have nothing to do now but train our athletic skill. 
Is it like how much stuff we have on us? Do you jump higher the less stuff you have on you? This is our life now. We're just going to stand in this corner and jump forever. I wish we could, like, hold the button down to jump. This is, this is taking forever. Am I jumping higher? I don't, I don't think I'm actually jumping all that much higher. Probably, probably like a tiny bit. But apparently we can't jump high enough to get over this stupid ledge. Why is this here? <laughs> I thought there would be like... Well, I mean, I could see there was nothing here, but I thought we could just, like, jump out of it. I didn't think, you know, once we jumped in, we'd be stuck forever. If we can't get out on the next level, I'm just going to no-clip it. I'm not going to lie, because it's kind of... I don't, I don't think it's very good roleplay to just be like, well, I'm just setting up camp on top of the, the roof here of your fort, because I can't climb over this little ledge here and jump down. Or climb up this thing here to get out of here. You can do it. I mean, I hope so. But I don't think it's going to happen, my guy. I think we live here now. Until we become literal gods of the game and walk through the wall to escape. <laughs> Come on, let me level up. We gotta be close. What's the button for third person? I think we just zoom out, right? We're pretty close. The other qu- Oh. I fell. <laughs> Sorry, we'll get back up eventually. What is- What is this? Oh, we're thirsty. All this jumping around on the roof is making us thirsty. Uh, Health. Bread. No, we need drink. Our water flask is empty. We probably should have gotten that filled up while we were there with all the shops. Where is... There it is, water jug. And you know what? We're probably at least a little bit hungry. Let's go ahead and eat some bread, you know? We've been doing a lot of jumping around and stuff. And uh, do we have, like, cheap restore health? No, do we have, like, bargain restore fatigue? Just standard and quality. Let's use a standard restore fatigue. What's that actually do for us? Oh, nice. That restores it pretty pretty quick, actually. I mean, it's not going to matter. We still can't jump high enough to get out of this damn place. I wonder, like, is it a function of how much weight you're carrying, too? That's something I could see them doing in this game. If I, like, say, stood here, looked here, and then just dropped... I don't know. What's something heavy that we're carrying? Anything? Weight 8. Weight 15 for the leather tent. Are we jumping higher? What's the next heaviest thing we're carrying? Water jug is 7. Firewood is 10. Okay, I'm assuming each one weighs a pound. I don't know. Oh, we leveled up again, though. <laughs> one more. We'll drop one more thing. Uh, campfire. Mm, I don't... I don't think it's doing anything. I was gonna say we could use a magic spell, but actually, nope, because we have no magic. Okay. Uh, unpack for a tent. Camping here is illegal. Well... Then maybe they shouldn't have put me in basically prison. Pick up the campfire. You see nothing. And... Ah, man. Thank God we made it out of there. Oh, was there, were there doors here? I didn't even notice when we were going around. Well, let's go back up here. Let's talk to, to you. Are you? Let's hear who, who are you? You're just a, a random Imperial Archer, huh? What's your background? You're an Imperial Archer. 
Nice. What's your trade? I'm an archer. I'm the kind of fighter who hates getting hurt, so I ambush with my marksman weapons from a distance, then run like crazy when I can and fight with long blades or spears when I must. I prefer spears because they're longer and I keep farther from things trying to hurt me. If that sounds cowardly to you, you better stick with tin suits and fat axes. Do like me a nice fat axe. You know what I mean? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, okay. I don't think he's going to be like a random guard chilling around here that we're looking for. So maybe we went in there. What's this one? Also prison towers. Do you look different? Can't tell. My vision's so blurry. Freely, Probably from being tired. But I can't tell what everyone looks like. Let's go back up top there. Uh, Jumping all the while. Because holy hell do we need to get our skill up. Oh my god, dude. This fort looks tiny. It should not be this hard. How do we get to where I want to go? So this is not it. Jumpity jump, jump, jump. I'm trying to remember the name of the guy. We just looked it up a mo moment ago, but I've honestly kind of forgotten his name. Uh, is there like a ladder or something that we can climb or not climb? Can't climb ladders in Bethesda games. Hmm, new. No. So back in here, and then... Oh, actually, can you fill my water? Hmm, doesn't look like it. What about you, Mr. Potion Master? Look at... Oh, there's somebody else in here. Be Hi, important. Paragon. What do you sell? Potions. Nice, but you don't fill water, huh? That's too bad. And you were magic, dude? Oh, you were the lay member, Let's dude. <gasps> I saw water. Give me water. Fill my water flask, please. Goodbye. Who are you? I missed you. Cruelly Spontanean. Were you the one I'm looking for? Accept all citizens. Imperial cult. Oh, you're an enchanter. Wait, is this how all enchanting works in Morwen? Do you not just have, like, an enchanting table that you can do things with? So right now, our only options for enchanting, though, are detect animals, which... Whatever. Detect enchantment. Can detect... Uh, the caster of this effect can detect enchanted items. They appear on the map as symbols. The effect's magnitude is the range and feet from the caster that enchanted items are detected. Detect key, fortify health, open, and shield. But from the sound of it, though... I just want it to last a long time. 143,236. Holy shit, is it expensive. It's 994 just for a basic one. Fortify health, same thing, huh? What's it cost to make, like, a the highest level spell imaginable? 7,160,586. More if you want it to be on target. It's 107 million. Or no, 10,739,052. Self is what I would be looking for, though. Uh, I mean, obviously not, you know, max out. What's just a basic one? Still 994. Um, it's like if I wanted to soul gems with soul, I don't have one. Hmm. I don't know. Goodbye. Actually, can you tell me a little bit about it? My trade. I am an enchanter. I enchant things and sell them. I have scrolls, which are cheap, but only work once, and enchanted items, which work over and over again, but which are not cheap. I also make my enchanter's lab available to those who want to enchant items, but who can't afford the expense of building and maintaining a lab. I charge for the service, of course, but you must provide the items, soul gems, and magic effects. I also buy and sell enchanted weapons, enchanted armor, and enchanted clothing. Oh, so was that just the the value of the enchanted item? Well, no, it literally says price and buy.
Fortify health, okay. Item, uh, this. Cast when used? I don't understand. I'm gonna have to watch, like, some guides on this stuff or something at some point, man. Where's this go? Prison towers. Oh, we haven't been down here before. Are you? I think Be you're the person. Moving. Larius. I'm Larius Varro, Legion member of Fort Moonmoth. I've been hoping you might come by. I've got some work for you if you're interested. Uh, I guess just latest rumors then? Take care when walking the roads. There have been rumors of bandit robbing careless travelers near Claw Ode. Uh, they've been attacked recently. Seems there's a Nord near Claw Ode who's been robbing the unwary. If you happen upon him, take care. And of course, I'd be grateful if you took care of that problem for me. So, Claw Ode. Whatchamacallit. That's a crime? Bruh. <laughs> I didn't realize just trying to sleep was a crime. Jesus Christ, how much money is that going to cost me? Who are you? Move along. Uh, nobody important, I guess, huh? You're a battle mage. That's cool. So you also sell spells? You do. Soul pinch. Damage magicka. Nice. Uh, I am not a mage. Surprised these cell doors aren't, like, illegal to touch. It's apparently illegal to touch someone else's bed, but going into random cells? Nah, it's fine. Nobody really cares. What is this regarding, Outlander? Can I sleep in these beds? No. I just want my magic back, man. Okay. Claw Ode. I don't think Claw Ode is too far away from what I remember. Some towers? No. Earthing? No. Exit? Yes. Wrong way. La Ode, it is, that's Balmura. Ah, okay, yeah, I think we've ran into him before whenever we were running up and around here. So we're just heading south and then up to La Ode, okay. I think we can handle this quest for you, my guy. You want something, friend? No point in talking to too many people because I'll forget what we're doing if we do. Or who did it go back to to get our reward, or whatever the case may be. You, like, point me in the direction of Hlao? You do not. That's fair. I understand. Fresh fiber. I like... From what I've heard, right? The magic... Or the, the spell crafting, enchanting, etc is really powerful in Morrowind, which is awesome, man. Don't get me wrong, but we're not heading south. We're heading... We're heading west. Oh, which actually... Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, is this... This is Balmora. Or... We're at wherever. This is where we started. That's fine. So we're fine. We can go for south from here. Uh, anyways, I've heard, like, it's really powerful. It's really... It's a really good system. Um... But from what I've seen so far, there's no explanation for how the hell any of it works. So you do do be struggling to figure out how... Like, alchemy is the one I really want to know. Because I don't want to be buying a bunch of health potions and shit the whole time we're playing. I'd much rather be making them. But so far, I have no idea how to even get started. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Appreciate you. Even if you are letting me roast to death in this room, my god, is it hot now? I'm joking. I'm joking, love. I'm gonna get up in a moment and turn the AC down. You bastard! Didn't we buy a shield? Oh, okay, I think I think our shield is out. Yeah, look at us go. We block. Get wrecked. Take that meat. Palm berries. They look poisonous. The, what they actually look like, they remind me of choke cherries. I don't know if anyone knows what choke cherries are, but like, or if that's just what we called them. But there's there are these little berries that 
They look like little tiny, tiny tomatoes almost, and they grow on a bush. And uh, they're so astringent that if you eat one of them, like, your throat wants to close up because they're so nasty, dude. But they're not actually, like, harmful in any way, at least that I know of. In small amounts, they're not harmful, at least. I know that much because they made us eat them in Boy Scouts. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I ate them before as a kid. Uh, not just randomly. I didn't just like go around finding random plants and eat them. No, we were <laughs> we were told like hey try this uh, By I think it was my stepdad. I don't remember though. Do you want me to come turn on? It's fine. Like I said, I got it. I was just picking on you. I gotta pick on you sometimes. Keep you on your toes. Are you? You a thing? No, you're a tree. Okay. It looked like a thing, like one of the, the floating things that I don't remember the name of. But, I mean, they're basically giant mushroom things. And that's a giant mushroom, so... Close enough. Do we gonna get wrecked? We should probably actually, like, legit... We should probably make camp somewhere. Because not only is it getting late, but also... This may be our last day on this earth... <laughs> We've only fought a couple humanoids so far. And each time we have, it's been pretty rough. TVH. So I think... Once we get back on the actual road up here... We're gonna set up camp real quick. Have a little nap. And then go find us a, a, a petty thief. A bandit. And kick some ass. Radic skill 29, let's go. Plus, maybe if we sleep, we'll level up. So I don't know why, but I feel like we got a level up thing at some point. All right, how do we do the tent? Do we put it here? No, we must put it... I think we put it on the ground. And then we click it. Yeah, unpack. Cool. Put our bedroll down as well. If I could remember how. Now, do we put that on us? We do not. Let's also put that on the ground. And then our fire, because we're probably going to be hungry when we get up. Is this the one that needs firewood? It is. Cool. Which actually, no, that's a good thing, because I want to try that one and see if it's different. Like, if it still fills our hunger, rather. Uh, we will sleep for 13 hours. Your rest has been interrupted. You bastard. Die, you rat. Dude, why do we suck so much? Just stab the rat. It's a freaking rat, man. Just stab it. And then steal his meat. We'll cook it in the morning. What is that sound, dude? Is it you? I think it's you. Are we in combat? Oh, we pissed him off. Get wrecked. I shall eat your corpse, little worm dude. It's 3 a.m. Sleep for another five hours, please. There we go. Uh, add firewood. Light a fire. Cook something. I would like to eat a, uh, a boiled quam eggs. No, quama stir fry. Me. No, we don't have quama cuddle. We don't lame. Okay, rat meat kebab. Start cooking. You are well fed. Does that fix our other hunger, though? We'll give it a second to update. My, my worry is... Is that it might... Not interact with the other one. So we may have to use, like, both fires. Which, sadly, it is looking that way. Yeah, damn, dude. See... I mean, this one has no downsides. This one only gives bonuses. So that well-fed that we got from eating that gives us an extra 30 points of health. Which is pretty dope. I will say that. But... Wait. Wait, that straight up destroyed the campfire? Oh, bro, I didn't... I thought it was just gonna... Pack it up, not... Oh, dude... Well, that sucks. Oh, well. 
Uh, guess we won't be using that again anytime soon. We are still hungry and thirsty, though, so... Water flask. Uh, water... What? No, put your pants back on, my guy. Take a couple swigs. Now on to Hlaw Oat. Oh, we just left camp, so let's save. Uh, it's this way somewhere. I think, if I remember correctly, I think he's up here, like, near a bridge. That sounds about right. <clears throat> are mud crabs rude? They are rude. Ow. Very rude. Get wrecked, crab. We can also switch to our demon tonto. And... There we go. We can use this now. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is Law Ode. I mean, it doesn't say. Oh, it says it is this way. I'm pretty sure this is Law Ode. So maybe right up here. Aha, that bastard. That's the one. I think he's the one we're hunting for. Uh, trying to walk, jump, get my drink. We got this, dude. Talent. Hello, random guy on the road. Don't mind me standing here holding a, uh, a Tonto. St Staring at you <laughs> menacingly. Uh, I'm not here to hurt you, I promise. I'm gonna turn on my AC real quick, guys, uh, while our fatigue regens, because we're gonna need that that all the way like filled if we're gonna murder this guy. Do I want to know the date of the bread that was in the magical bread box? Yes, and I'll explain the magical bread box when I get back. <laughs> January 23rd, 2023 was the date of the bread that Noodle found in our magical bread box. And Noodle, if you don't mind, just uh, real quick, tell me, what say you? this magical bread box bread, what was the condition of the bread? You will die where you stand. How was, how was bread from January 23rd? 2023 or that expired january 23rd 2023 uh oh no we're not allowed to heal ourselves why you no die oh there we go oh uh. other than that it was perfectly fine just a little stale isn't that insane my guys like <laughs> So yeah, we have this bread box that I bought on a whim because I want a bread box. The problem is, if you know me, I'm ADD as fuck. So if something's not in front of my face, I'm going to forget about it. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, because it's gonna happen. And probably pretty quick. So we don't end up using the bread box that often, but every once in a while, some bread ends up in this bread box anyways. And naturally, it gets completely forgotten about, right? This has happened now at least three times. But for some reason, the bread that we put in this bread box never goes bad. Like, I'm not going to eat the bread that's expired January 23rd, 2023. But every loaf of bread we've ever pulled out of it looks 100% edible. It, excuse me, feels relatively soft. There's no mold or anything growing on it. It's insane. I don't understand it. Like, I know... It's a bread box. That's its whole deal is to keep help keep bread fresh. But like my guy, it expired. We're in April. It expired three months ago. <laughs> like, and it's just perfectly fine, dude. 
It's insane to me. I don't get it, but uh, yeah, not complaining either though. That's cool. I uh, like I said, I'm not gonna eat it. Like, <laughs> yeah, no, it's not airtight or anything. It's just a, it's just a cheap one that I bought at a Walmart. Like, it has a metal lid on it. Um, that is a fancy looking axe, man. And we're actually pretty good with axes. Uh, it is a two-handed weapon though. Which sucks. But anyway, no, sorry, getting sidetracked. So yeah, no, it's just it's just a, a cheap one that I bought at Walmart. It's like a little wooden slab on the bottom. It's got like a a curved metal lid, right? And like half the metal lid comes up and slides over the other half. So you can put your bread in and then slides but it's just a really cheap bread box. Like it's just I don't know, man. Somehow it keeps bread completely fresh for literally ever. At least store bought breads. I don't know how well it would work for homemade breads. We should actually try that noodle because obviously homemade bread goes bad relatively quickly. Maybe this magic bread box will keep it good for longer. Uh, 1 to 30. So it has, po it's possibly the better weapon, but it has a very high range. And what's the... Uh, the spell must have wore off. I can't remember what the one we have on us now is. I remember it's pretty good. Um, our axe skill is actually higher than our short blade skill. Hmm. Maybe we'll keep this axe, man. I think we'll actually keep this axe and try it out for a little bit. Um, which way do we want to go? I guess we'll go back to town over here. I can't remember if there's a shop in this town or not. have an injury we can take now that we're out of combat we are allowed to take a restore health potion take one restore health potion just in case we come across like a rat or something so we don't instantly die to it i don't know how much health that's actually going to restore for us but some at least you're pretty sure we've accidentally left one in there close to a year before too yeah i don't remember how long the other ones were in there before but i know it was a while and it's, like I said, it's just insane that somehow this stuff all stays good. Fat legs drop off. No, that's the, uh, the bad people. Training. I don't want a trainer. I want a shop. Is there not a, a trader, a goods trader here? Quick save in case we, like, crash or anything. Occur. The prey hmm. approaches. I'm not prey. I'm friend. Steal your shit. Wonder, like, if you commit crimes and nobody's around to see them, did the crime happen in Morwen? Like, say, murder? There are many creatures beyond the cities. You too, orc friend. You look weird. Goodbye. Ha owed Relian Renee's house. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, it's a crate. Ah, you guys are mean. I didn't know you guys were mean. No, let me out. Let me out. I do not have the health to be fighting fish. You bastards. I just wanted to check out that crate, dude. I didn't even know there were mean I things in there. Move, you bastards. I'm trying to get through. Thank you. Okay, so apparently there's piranha in the ground. Oh, bro, there's a free fishing pole. And our dumbasses went and bought one. Can we use the fishing pole here? What? How am I too far away from the water? Uh, where can you take me to? Vivek, Foreign Corners, Molog Mar. None of the places I want to go. What's Narmok? You know what? Let's just go there. Let's just see what it is. Oh, shit. We were supposed to... Wait a second. Wait, no, this is different. Where are we? Oh, we're just up the coast a little bit. Kind of forgot that we need to go back to Moon Moth. Uh, well, you know what? Let's look around. Are there bad things in the water here? This stuff isn't stealing. 
I will take everything you own, please. Thank you. Was that everything? No, there we go. What is this? Is this salt? Moon sugar? Is this a smuggler's thing? Different chest. Common amulet. Expensive shoes and gold. I will take. Thank you. Am I taking damage? Nobody ever has time. Mushmurk's shack. This set is new. Nope, not interested. Just another person shack. Do you guys have a trader in this town by any chance? That's what I really want, is just someone to trade with. Someone shack. I'm assuming okay, a locked shack. It looks like there's an actual town up here though, which gives me some hope that there could be something to do here. Other than just talking to people that say the same thing. Drew, what? Rest? Oh, does that mean, so can I sleep want? here? I think I can. Uh. Goodbye. I can! Uh, we'll Who's have a nap guy? here then. You could hurry this up. Has no words for you. Oh, and you sell water? Sure, flower flask if you don't mind. Thank you, good sir. What's in here? Back outside. Now let's just take a nap, my guy. It's 5 p.m. Uh, we'll rest until the early morn and then hop on a boat back to where we came from. I'm assuming the boating service runs 24-7, right? Hello, sir. I would like to go to Flao, please. I'm waiting. We're probably hungry again, huh? Thunderstorm, yeah, thirst and hunger. Well, thirst is easy enough. I just got more water, if I could find it. It's under miscellaneous, ain't it? Yeah. And do we have any cooked food? No, but I mean, bread probably doesn't need cooked. Oh! We found out bread restores fatigue. Cool. We're learning things. Imagine that. Any little swamp creatures around here that want to taste my blade, my axe? Let me get some practice in. Hello, mud crab. Die, you bastard. Wow, that went pretty well. Cool. Oh. I don't think an axe is really a traditional weapon of a, uh, a rogue, but... It fits the orc thing, though. We're completely soaked. Yeah, well, that's what happens when it rains. You get wet. It's good to know my accuracy still sucks balls. I thought those were people over there. I think it's just the weird growths in the ground. We're exposed, we're chilly. It's fine. No worries, I think we're gonna be okay. Speaking of axes, our next girls' night might be axe throwing. For the love of God, please don't like cut your foot off or something. Surely now's the best time to go fishing, right? Be able to catch anything. Well, we tried. I could totally see you doing that, man. We'll be fine. Somebody's gonna lose a finger or a hand or a foot. I just know it. I just hope it's not you, man. Surprised you're not the one who brought it up, though. Honestly, same. I'm surprised the rest of the people that you work with want to do it. Like... 
It just doesn't seem like the sort of thing they would want to do. Weakness to frost, weakness to shock. Yeah, it's pretty rough outside, but as far as I know, I can't change the weather, so I kind of just got to deal with it. I mean, we could camp through it, which I guess is probably what you're meant to do. But we know where you're, we're going. The road's relatively safe, besides a couple small creatures. I'm not that worried about it. And look, the, the rain seems to be light letting up. It's either clearing up entirely or maybe the thunderstorm's just ending. Maybe both. What's this way? Uh, I wonder if this wraps around. I mean, it's, it's probably fine. We'll check it out. We'll try it. If we don't try it, we'll never find out, dude. Oh, technically, it's still a thunderstorm. How is our expo exposure increasing, man? It's nicer out now than it was literally just minutes ago. It was the Caramel Macchiato one. I'll be honest with you. I don't remember who Caramel Macchiato is, but... Oh, are you talking about... I think I, I might know who you're talking about, actually. Now I think about it. A little bit. Maybe. I could be wrong, but I have an idea, at least. If you remember, you'll just have to tell me earlier. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay. I thought so. Ooh, what are you? You're a flag. I think you're a flag. You're a rat. Come here, rat. Dude. This axe is amazing. Let's go. That's all we've needed this whole time was an axe. Who knew? You're not a flag. You're a mean looking thing. Can we go up the hill? Avoid the mean looking thing? game. Let me Skyrim jump up. I want to climb the mountain. I don't want to fight the thing. I'll, we'll die. And then I'll have to run all the way back over here. Can I just go around you without pissing you off? Yes. I think we can. Okay. I think we're safe. And there's that. So the fort should be this way. <gasps> ah! <laughs> you know what? Get him! Get him! Come here, you bastard! Yes! Let's go! Racer plumes! You didn't stand a chance, my guy. Hey, were you protecting, like, a nest down here or anything? Oh, well. Didn't actually want to come all the way down if it was empty. But we did. Now, can we get back up? Or do we need to go all the way around? Oh, maybe I can use this little, little crack in the between the two things to like come on dude my god this definitely isn't Skyrim okay we'll go around <laughs> tis fine tis fine we didn't like level up and not know about it right now we are definitely still level 2 of course every time we level up we need to increase the difficulty by I think we said 5 which I don't know if that's actually going to balance the, the difficulty out or if it's just going to make it harder on us. It also looks like it's about to storm again. I need to get to the fort. Tell the guy I did the thing. See if he gives us anything. So hopefully he doesn't try to take the stuff that we got from the bandit as like proof or something. Or maybe it's stolen goods. Maybe we just receive stolen goods. Wonder if we can fight you. Oh, I'm feeling frisky. Worst comes to worst, we'll run. Okay, that wasn't too bad. You're definitely hitting me more than I'm hitting you, though. Which I don't like. <gasps> Get fucked! Let's go, Nixhound! Oh, wait, we fought Nixhounds before. That's actually not that impressive, I guess. But <laughs> I felt good about it. Something down there? No. Looks like a hole we'll just get stuck in. Like a part of the world they just didn't notice there was a hole in and we go in it, we'll never be seen again. That's what that looks like. Would be cool though if you were playing like a well, I guess dwarves don't really exist anymore, do they? I was gonna say like a dwarfin care a dwarven character or something like that, if you could just like crawl in the hole. 
what are you listening to? I'm not talking to you. Uh, hello. I want to trade with you. Oh. Ah! <laughs> You'll trade with me even though I have moon sugar. You don't mind. <laughs> oh, will you buy the moon sugar? You won't buy it. Okay, I mean, that's fine. Oh, shit. You don't buy anything, do you? Ha! Ah! Okay, well... Free. What do you want? Uh, not to talk to you. Um... On your way. If I just, like, drop the moon sugar, are they gonna be mad about it? Here, there's nobody here. I'm just, like... Moon sugar. Drop. Uh, you. Barter. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Take some of that. Take the eggs, some scuttle, some scrib jelly, just all this stuff that I don't know what it does. We'll keep the crab and the rat meat, so we'll eat that. Fresh fiber, racer plumes, calm berries. Pork bulb roots, we don't need it. Chokeweed, none of it. Keep my fish bait though. Uh, do you, you don't happen to sell like, no. You know what? Let's buy the bait bucket, dude. No, let's not, because I don't know what the hell it does. What's the point? I'm assuming like maybe it collects bait over time or something. Just paper? Uh, will you buy, like, common pants and stuff? Armor rating 5. I think our boots are better than that. Where are our boots? The armor rating 10, yes. Pretty sure all of our armor's better. Common amulet. Can I just wear that? Probably, huh? Steel club. No, I don't think there's anything here that we need or want. Okay, I will, uh, you know what? Oh, we, never mind. I was going to give you a deal, but then I saw it was 169, so <laughs> I've changed my mind. How does the persuasion work? Admire. Show respect work. Do not flatter me. Okay, uh, bribe. 10 gold. I don't know what the point actually is of it. Like, got the better of me, so go ahead. does it do anything? Do we get like better deals or something? Take my moon sugar back up. Where was the guy down here? Are you? Yeah, you. Is this about that work I mentioned? It is actually. I went and took care of the dude that you were speaking of. Through various channels, I've learned a bit about your situation. I'd like to tell you a little story, and when I'm done, you can ask me some questions. And then maybe you might decide to go out and do some things. You might, and you might not. That's your affair. I also want to tell you about a nice present I think the Emperor wants you to have. I'm not sure where it is, but maybe you'll want to check back and see if I found it later, after you have done some things. This guy feels a little shady, man. Something about him feels a little off. A uh, hundred gold. Thank you very much. Tell me your little story. Once upon a time, there was a bad magistrate who took gold from criminal organizations to reduce the sentences and fines of criminals. Everybody knew he was doing this, but nobody could prove it. Because even if it could be proved, the bad magistrate had important friends, and proof is not as powerful as important friends. I don't like where this is going. He's going to ask me to kill some government official, which, I mean... He sounds like a bad guy, I get it, but at the same time, it's gonna get me in some sort of trouble, my guy. At the same time, there was a good officer who enforced the laws because he thought laws made people happy and safe, and it bothered the good officer that enforcing the laws did no good, because the bad magistrate let the criminals go as quick as the officer caught them. For a long time, the good officer sighed and said, what can I do, because the bad magistrate has important friends and nothing I can do will touch him. But then, the good officer said, say... Wait a minute, what about the bad people who are bribing the bad magistrate? They haven't got important friends, and if they aren't around, then the bad magistrate can't get any more bribes. 
he's has he asked me to kill the bad people? And even better, the good officer suspected that the bad people who were bribing the bad magistrate were probably criminals themselves. So the good officer decided that it would be good if the bad people who were bribing the bad magistrate should go away. Forever. Dude, just spit it out already. So that good officer made a little special prayer that there would be a little bloodbath to wash the bad people away. There isn't Now, isn't that a nice little story? Maybe not a perfect story because it ends with a prayer and not a bloodbath. But maybe the story isn't over yet. Who are the bad people? Bad people are the Kimona Tong. I thought everybody knew that. They are a criminal organization. Unfortunately, I don't know who the Kimona Tong are. No one will tell me because I am an officer and it is against the code to tell officers things. But people in the Thieves Guild hate the Kimona Tong. I bet if you asked the Thieves Guild, they would cheerfully tell you who had or who the bad people are and where to find them. But I warn you, these bad people are very tough. Tougher than you, I'm afraid. So probably don't deal with them yet, but maybe in the future? The blad, the blad people, <laughs> the bad people in my story are five members of the Kamana Tong. I know they are a scout, a pawnbroker, a savant, a thief, and a smith. That they are in Balmora. Unfortunately, I don't know their names, but maybe you can find their names and where to find them. And then maybe my story could have a happy ending with a little bloodbath instead of a little prayer. So wait, do you just want to know their names? Because if all you want to know are their names, then I don't feel so bad. What's this ni nice present though? What is this nice present from the Emperor? I'm sure I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a surprise, and as I said, I'm not sure where it is, but I might find it any time. So check back and see if I found it later, after you've done some work. <sighs> okay. Um, here's what I'm thinking. I love the law. I love the Emperor. I love the people I try very hard to keep safe. But sometimes, no matter how hard we try to keep the peace, sometimes there is going to be blood. I think you know what I'm talking about. That's why I asked for you to do this bit of work, if you're willing. Okay, tell me more about the Thieves Guild, because I'm not really planning on play paying a th Words. I'm not really planning on playing a thief, but I could be persuaded. In the Empire, the Thieves Guild is old and powerful, but here in Morrowind, the Thieves Guild is young and weak. The old and powerful criminal guild of Morrowind is the Kimona Tong. Kimona Tong, Kimona Tong doesn't like the Thieves Guild a lot, and the feeling is mutual. That doesn't tell me where to find them or how to join them, though. Um. Okay. Yes. Hmm. I don't know what to make of this guy, to be honest with you. Oh, that's right. This is just yes, orc. Just the actual like prison cells uh yeah about that i don't know my guy what do we have quest wise <laughs> quests that sounds like a better thing to do right now mysterious killings in vivek fargoth's hiding place briskar flatfoot asked me to do him a favor he believes that fargoth has been hiding money from the imperials he'd like to know where it's gone if i will work for him he will give me a share of the bounty agreed to help Riskar find the money that Fargoth has been hiding away. I am supposed to keep an eye on him from atop the lighthouse in town and watch where he goes. Riskar believes I should watch him at night. I'm not supposed to approach him at any time. I should then retrace his footsteps and find out where he's hidden the money. When I've found it, I should report back to Riskar. If I remember correctly, that's in the first town. So we'll just go back to the first town and maybe deal with that. That sounds better. Can you start Bob? Uh, Yeah, that's fine. You can start Bob if you want. I don't mind. Do we have any more junk to get rid of? No. Doesn't appear so. God darn it, man. Why is it always freaking storming? All right, we're going to set up camp. Uh, just need a flat spot to set up my tent. This looks like a good spot right here on this hill. And put down my bedroll. And sleep. It's 1 p.m. Let's just, I mean, honestly, I just want to stay here until it stops raining. Let's try, uh, that'd be 1 a.m. So we want 19 hours. And it's still raining. I mean, it hasn't been the full 19 hours, but like, my God, dude. Game.
Thank you for the food, I suppose. Sleep. My god, it just rains forever, doesn't it? This is not a very good tent, man. Seriously? Does the rain ever end? Is the game bugged? Thank God. Okay. Pick up. Pack up. We do need to cook some food real quick, I suppose. Probably drink some water. Sure, we're thirsty. Darn you. Cook. We have... I know we have a uh, crab, right? And some meat. Uh, I wish there was just like an any option. That would be nice. Cooked crab. Cooked meat. And there we go. No longer hungry. No longer thirsty. And we're going back to the first town. Which is... I guess that way. I wonder though... Could we just go around... Just for like a change of scenery. It's again, we gotta we gotta explore more of the map sooner or later, right? We might as well do it now. Also a little curious what that is there. Like is that a town or I don't know. A little ominous though, the area we're heading into here. So that way probably goes to whatever that is. For now, we'll just go this way. Toward our goal, not away. Can't wait until all of our swings actually hit, dude. Vivek? Ghost gate. Oh, that's probably that thing that I saw, huh? Is it seriously raining again? Bro. <laughs> what is with this weather? My god, man. Dude, get fucked, Nick Sound. I've decided, screw it. We're just gonna deal with the rain. Tired of hiding from it. Okay, probably follow... the road down this way this way seems to be we're heading south ish right yeah um okay yeah it probably connects a little sooner than i was hoping but that's fine you feel wet i wonder why why would i possibly feel wet oh we're gonna save just because i forgot to save after our rest Nothing really happened. We faced two very basic creatures. I think it'll be okay. I mean, the roads seem relatively safe. They were a lot less safe when we were on the harder difficulty, but it was just too much, dude. It's raining here, too. I mean, yeah, I did see, like, on the weather that it was supposed to rain a little bit. Not too bad from what I read, but some rain in the area. Perfect like three hours something like that like I said nothing too crazy I don't think you know I've really grown not to trust random people on the road but a bandit nearby I was just walking along here minding my own business suddenly a bandit jumped at me from behind he was a dark elf a strong dashing dark elf he didn't harm me in any way, although he did take my jewels. He is quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. What kind of jewels? What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I must wait to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny, and I simply must see him again. His name? Nelos. Nelos Onmar. Name that I will that will stay on my lips for eternity. Perhaps you can find him for me? Please, I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return, but could you not help me for the sake of love? Are you serious, man? Whatever. You'll try, thank you. You're welcome. Um. Oh my god, people are stupid. Okay. 
this guy around here anywhere? Hello, Dark Elf Bandit, sir. You couldn't simply, like, walk up and down the road a little bit and see if you could find him yourself, lady? What's this way? Okay, that connects, like, instantly back to there. Honestly, I thought she was going to be, like, working with the bandit. Like, distract us while he came up from behind and stabbed us or something. I hear... Ah, it's a rat. I was like, I hear battle music, man. There's got to be something somewhere. Uh, Random thing on the side of the mountain. Surely not going to try and murder us when we go in. Cavern door to Ul Musa. Okay. Surprisingly not instantly being attacked. Well, being attacked now. Damn you. Dude. Oh, you bastard. Come on. Just hit with the axe, my guy. Dude, we're going to die. <laughs> yeah, load the last save. Okay, so... I guess taking down one bandit doesn't mean we're indestructible. Fair. Uh, we did not talk to that lady yet. I'm just gonna... No, I'll take the quest. I was gonna say I'm gonna ignore her, but what's the point? We'll talk to her again. We'll take the quest. If, if we see the dude, we'll try and deal with it. If not, then, you know, we don't. Whatever. Oh, wait. She's not here now. Or did we... Did we pass her and not see her? I don't know. Whatever. I'm not that worried about it. It might have been like a random quest or something. Like a, a chance thing. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not worried about it. I'm just trying to get somewhere. Oh, here she is. Bandit nearby. Jewels. I will try and find the man. Wonderful random lady that has fallen in love with a bandit that robbed her. You were literally robbed by this dude, and you're trying to get him to fall in love with you. You are not well. Is that a... Nope, that's a post. Thought maybe it was a person. Not going in there. Just gonna keep hopping on by. Skippity dude all the way back to day. Uh... I don't know. I think we've been there before. Yeah, we stopped there before, which means we're, we're getting pretty close. Should be just around the way. And there was actually, I do remember there being a bandit up here that we talked to before. So assuming the bandits don't move, then he's probably just up here on this main road near town. Or right outside of town, rather. I seem to remember him being, like, on a bend of the road. So maybe a little farther up. You are cold. Yeah, well, it's kind of raining. Probably a little chilly out. But what you gonna do? Apparently it always rains on this freaking island. I guess it makes sense. With all the hills, you know, the air pressure condensing the clouds, something... Like how deserts are formed in real life, right? It's like that volcano probably creates a pretty big... Pretty big updraft. This way. Thank you for dying, Mr. Forager, sir. Was he... See, the bandit might have been up there. I don't remember, but we're going this way, so... Here? No. Hmm. The way I look at it, maybe we'll just run across him at some point, and hopefully there will be, like, a new text that we can say to him to remind us about it. 
Because otherwise I'll forget. Okay, so watch from the lighthouse, they said, at night. It didn't specify a time of night, and I'm not even 100% sure who it is I'm supposed to be following. I guess I should probably find out who the guy is first. Uh, options. Fargoth. Okay, we're looking for Fargoth, just so we know what he looks like. I'm assuming that's not going to be a guard. This is Fargoth's house, though. So at least we know where his house is. does Fargoth himself look like? Are you Fargoth? No. Anytime now. Fargoth wouldn't be like in somebody else's house, right? Are you Fargoth, the crazy dude that we talked to when we first got here? This you are. Okay, so you're the weird little man. Elf dude. Can we see from the lighthouse where he's going? We'll try. Hello again. Speak, traveler. Did we end up taking all the stuff from this chest or no? Damn, they see me. Oh, there's a steel short sword. We're not thieves. Old habits die hard, that's all. Can't help but look. Okay. While we're up here... Again, I don't know how well we'll actually be able to see anything, but... Um... So, what time does night start? Eight? That far off? Mm, indeed. Bruh, it's way too dark. I can't. I can't tell. Are any of these people far gone? Apparently, I can see where he's going from here. This is where I was told to watch for him, Matt. Probably help if it wasn't freaking raining. Oh, is that far gone? Maybe that's him. Somebody just like walked around his house and out. But I don't see them now. Oh, is that far gone? Damn it, it could be anybody. <laughs> Can't see shit from up here. Man, I say we just go and talk to him. Oh, don't fall down there. That would not be good for my legs. <laughs> Very cold. Everything's bad. Uh, da -da. We're not hungry or thirsty, though. Oh, no, we are thirsty. I'm just not hungry. Damn it. Shouldn't be thirsty anymore, at least. Uh, no, this way. Fargoth, where are you, my guy? Look, we helped you out. We gave you your ring. You're still chilling here. I, I want to do it like the sneaky route. Oh. You are freezing? Find shelter quick or you will perish. Is he going somewhere? Why's it got to be raining? Why's Fargoth got to be an idiot?
Bro. Do you ever go home? You are freezing to death. Damn you. Keep Speak traveler. Can I not pull out my hands in here? Like get warm by the fire? your hiding place got a solid nothing out of him swear to god if we freeze yeah. to death because of this just go away you don't see me you oh god have something to say to no just go around Literally froze to death. My time is precious, so make it quick. You are dry, but still cold. Okay, well, we're just cold. We're not freezing. Is Fargoth still out here? He is. What time is it? It's 11 p.m. Surely it's late enough, Fargoth, for you to go wherever you're going. Oh, he's, no, he's still here. He's still freaking out here, man. It's one in the morning. And apparently, we're still freezing. I was hoping with the rain ending, maybe it would stop. Okay, 85. Okay, exposure decreasing slowly. So we should be good now. I mean, he has a torch. Will that help us at all? Seems like all he ever does is pace back and forth in that one spot, man. All right, let's go back to the lighthouse, I guess. It's like, bro, we're so far away, we can't see what's going on. We positive he doesn't just hide it like in his house? We know he's chilling, like, right there. Oh, is that him? Oh, I think that's him. Maybe it doesn't happen until we go up here. Okay, so he stops at that tree. And then at that corner. Where are you going now, Fargoth? Wait, are you coming here? You can't see me. And then by the side of the lake. Tree, corner, side of lake. Tree again. Toss it in the swamp. Yeah. He does. He walks right out to the swamp. I bet you that's where he hides it at, man. He's spending a lot of time there. Okay. Why is he hobbling around like a weirdo, man? Dude's just weird. So tree corner swamp. You going home now? I think he's going home now. From the looks of it. Okay, so tree. Me safely, like. 
climb this tree down? Yeah, dude, look at us go. Okay, uh, retrace his footsteps. I don't think we actually need to retrace his footsteps. Because, I mean, I don't think there's anywhere here to hide stuff. Nor do I think there's anywhere to hide stuff on the side of this tree. So that only really leaves right here in the swamp. That's the weirdest place he went to. Hollow tree stump. Let's go, dude. 300 gold. Journeyman's lockpick. Engraved ring. Oh, the ring that we gave him. Well, take that back. Now, who's the dude we were meant to talk to? I'm guessing in here. Was it you? No. What? No. Not you. Speak quickly, Outlander. Not you. Dude upstairs here, maybe. Briskar, yeah, Fargoth's hiding place. Um, are the winds blowing in your flavor? Yes. You found his hiding place. That's great. Tell you what, I'll give you 100 gold, and you can keep anything else that you found in there. Thanks for your help. Uh, I mean, it's fine, well, I guess. Well, here's a fine one. Speak freely. What say you? Rothflood the braggart. Tell me about the Thieves Guild. Maybe you'd like to join the Thieves Guild? Yes. Why are you asking? Yes. Oh my god. You're useless. What do you? Do you know anything? What's your trade? I'm a scout. I know places. Okay. Uh, Tell me about the geography of Vardenfell. Vardenfell District is the island of Vardenfell surrounded by the Inland Sea. Vardenfell is known for its giant volcano, Red Mountain, and its foul ash wastes. Uh, well, Blade Trainers? Since you're one of us, I'll just charge you for my time and effort, okay? <laughs> kind of training. Long blade, medium armor, athletics. Meh. Nothing I really care about, to be honest. So where are you from? Trade house notice? Whereas at the general sessions of the peace held for the district of House Lalu at the town of Balmor on the 16th day of the first seed in the year of the reign of our sovereign king, Lalu Athen Lethlin, Lethen, by the grace of all gods, King of Morwen, Duke of Mornhold, and Lalu Province, defender of the people and the law, loyal- oh my god. Uh, shall not suffer any stranger unknown, traveler to lodge or stay in over this house, above one day and one night, without making the same known for the next bailiff. This is, okay, like, actual, I don't know why I took that. Actually just some lost Speak stuff. Trailer. Go ahead, stranger. Can I, like, buy a room? Is that what this is about? Doesn't seem like it. Well, yeah, what's your okay. story? I don't have a story. I'm leaving. I, actually, before I do that, I'm journal. Didn't we have another quest that was around here? Oh, shit, it's 150. Maybe not. Vodnius Nucius. Darvaim Lauren mentioned that she didn't think Vodnius Nucius was happy here. Uh. Da -da -da -da. Okay, he wants to buy a ring. Or wants me to buy a ring. I have money now. See around here? Vodnius. Oh, speaking of rings, we might as well wear the magic ring now. Restore health one to five points for one sec on self. Are you the one that's unhappy around here? No, Speak you guys are just friend. guards. I mean, everyone's probably at their homes. Here's his home, though. Probably wouldn't be too happy I'm if we lockpicked it. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there's not a bed around here. Oh, it's you. Never mind. <laughs> Here's a hundred drakes. Give me the ring. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. I'll grab the next boat out of here. Thanks again, and I hope your luck here is better than mine was. Ahead, so what's Stuart. the enchantment? Why is it, and what's the curse? Damage health, 10 points for one sec on self. Fortify skill athletics, 5 points for 60 seconds. So you lose a little bit of health... only for one second so roughly 10 points of health for five extra athletic points actually doesn't seem too bad uh ring of medusa's gaze paralyze health and we can only wear two rings huh 
Yeah. Um. Having the extra athletics on any time would be really nice. And I'm allowed to use magic in combat, just not potions. So honestly, probably just gonna end up selling it. Or seeing if we can like remove the curse somehow and then sell it or something. I don't know. Got a little advice for me. Take the Soul Strider to Vivek or Bamora. Fast and cheap. Okay. More background, nothing. Goodbye. Well. I guess, since it is getting late, we'll probably just set up camp outside of town and then I don't know, maybe Tuesday we'll play some more. I've been I've been enjoying playing Morrowind on Tuesdays. Hello. It does mean I don't get as much work done in general, but like mm, you know. Hey Fargoth. Don't have a hiding place, at least not anymore. Ah, you poor guy. Oh, did the game crash? No, okay, I just won't let me click for some reason. Goodbye. Hey, I helped you once, Fargoth, and then you wanted to lie to me, man. All you had to do was return the money, and you could have kept the rest of your shit, but... Nope. You didn't want to work with me, my guy. That's on you, not on me. This is our favorite camping spot. Miscellaneous leather tent. Unpack. It's not very flat in here. I don't feel like it's going to be a very, uh comfortable sleeping experience but oh well I suppose set up our campfire for in the morn maybe where's the campfire there it is and sleep until we'll sleep in a little bit we'll sleep till 10 Rest up. Oh, we feel well, rest well rested, actually. Very nice. Restart the fire. Cook some... I believe we have more rat meat. Well, we should actually have some Nyx Hound, too, right? And do we have any eggs? It's a big breakfast, I know. No, we don't. Well, oh well, we tried. Roots. Don't we have cork bulb? There we go. There's our, our vegetable. <laughs> Pack up. Pack up. Eat our meal. And end off the day. It's empty. Son of a bitch. Oh, we could use the rain to refill that. We should try and remember that. Can we, like, refill the flask? Doesn't look like it. Hopefully that glug was enough. Eat some roots and some cooked meat. There we go. Back to full health. Let's get a save in as we do that. Thank you again, everyone, for coming and hanging out with me while we played a little bit of Morrowind. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I most certainly did. I'm excited to get farther in this game. It's pretty slow going, sadly, but it is what it is. You can only do so much with roughly two hours of time. Until next time, though, have a wonderful night, everyone. Thank you so much, Mr. Noodle. I appreciate you, love. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, have a good night, everyone. And uh, as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, <laughs> y'all.